Welcome back for another playthrough in the Pathfinder Adventure Card Game. In this scenario, we're going to be doing 2B, a piece of the auction. So, the Wizard's Estate is now up for auction, and we are there to see what goes on. Uh, there's no villain or henchman, but the dangers. Each time you encounter the danger, randomly choose a new artifice story bane. So, we've got our chart set up. So it could be a bandit, chemist, clockwork guardian, cultist, inferno trap, or poison dark trap. Setup was a little different. We only have one location, as you can see there, the plaza. After building the location, we added into it a number of new barriers, weapons, spells, armors, items, each equal to the number of characters. When preparing the story mains, we set aside the Drake and Grioth, along with four proxies. And those four proxies and the drake were shuffled into the hourglass. So we have 30 cards plus five monsters to encounter in there. The drake is always going to have fire for its trait. When you encounter a boon from the location before acting, we'll need to succeed at a charisma, diplomacy, or perception six check, or the difficulty to acquire is increased by a d8. If we acquire a boon, we put it into a winnings pile instead of our hand. And if we fail, it goes into a horde pile instead of banishing it. When you flip over a monster from the hourglass, we'll encounter it. If you do not defeat it, shuffle into the hourglass and put a random boon from the winnings pile into the horde. And when we close the plaza, if there are more cards in the winnings pile than the horde pile, we'll win. And we are playing to get a hero point, all the cards in the winnings pile, and a character will get the loot spell wall of light. So the location has some more things going on. When you would encounter a boon, draw a new one of the same type, encounter one and banish the other. So at least we'll have two options to see what we can get. To close, we we'll need to succeed at a Charisma or Diplomacy 7 check. And when closed, you may recharge any number of cards, but that won't matter because we will have one by then. So for our starting hands, Lairs will draw four cards, looking for a sword. And we have the Worm Smite, which actually is the only sword I have in this deck. Glorious Warhammer, Helm of the Valkyrie, and a Blessing Ryson. For Sione, she'll get six cards. Looking for a spell. Got her Lucky Cat, and three spells. Cat and our dinosaur, and the same blessing. So let's go ahead and get started with Valeris's turn. Blessing of the Hour is no effect. Go ahead and explore. We found a boon. So we'll go ahead and draw another boon of the same type. So we can either go for something that's going to be nice for us to have later on the game or something that we can easily pass. And I'm going to choose for us to go for the rapier there. Then for a diplomacy check, we are D6 plus 2. And since the hour is a 0, we'll go ahead and bless this and recharge the card. So we'll get 2 D6. So five plus two, we pass the check. So now on to acquire, will be a D10 plus two to start with. And Sioni will recharge this card to bless. So we've got a eight plus two, which is gonna be enough for us to put this in our winnings pile. And then we'll end our turn drawing a card. Finding some armor of insults, because that's going to be good at auction. On to Sione's turn. When you would discard a boon to bless de dexterity or charisma, you may recharge it instead. We'll go ahead and take a look and see what we find. We find a heavy crossbow. So we'll go look for a different weapon. And for her, we're just going to take the lower of the two to try for. Her diplomacy is going to be a D12 plus 2. Getting a 7. 
So we made that check, and now the strength melee will be a D4. So no way to get this. So this will go into the horde pile. We'll have her end her turn, drawing up to one more card, finding a blessing. Back to Valeris for the hour. After discarding any number of cards as damage, draw a card. Take a look in here, find some half plate armor, and so we've got a four to two to three or a four to two to seven. We'll go with the lower one. Do our diplomacy check. Getting a four, so we will add a D8 to this difficulty. <laughs> That's not going to go well, so we need an 11. We're D8 plus two. And see how many will help out on a check to acquire, recharge to bless. So we'll be adding two to this. Looking for an 11. We got dub eights. So we've acquired some leather armor for our winnings pile. Go ahead and display our armor. And call it a turn and draw up. Finding a guide. For Sioni's turn. On your check against a spell, add a d4. We'll take a look. Finding a war drum, needing constitution or charisma, or intelligence and craft. So we'll stick with the war drum. So for the charisma check, we got an eight, so we're good there. So now it's just the constitution or charisma, which would be another D12. Getting an 11, so we've got a war drum to our winnings pile. And we will in turn, getting a fire bolt onto Valeros. On each check, the first blessing play to bless may be played freely. Finding a light crossbow or a short bow, so we will Go after the crossbow, looking at a d6 plus two for our first check. So we made the charisma check. Our range dexterity is a d8 plus one. So we're looking for a three on the roll or better. Got a one. So we failed to acquire that one. At the end of our turn, we'll go ahead and discard our glorious Warhammer and draw up one, finding some full plate. For Sioni, blessing on your check, you may discard a card to reroll a one or two. She'll see what's coming up for auction. We have a barrier, dexterity, diplomacy, disable or staff, stealth. If undefeated, suffer the scourges dazed and entangled. Then reload this barrier. If defeated, remove your scourges. Then summon and encounter an ally. Our diplomacy is a D12 plus two. We have nothing to boost with, so just get this die plus two. So we got an 11. So defeated. Summon and encounter an ally. So we'll be looking for strength, charisma, or diplomacy of five. And because we're at this location, we'll look at a second ally or a frog. See if we can get the teamster. So D12 plus two. We got an eight. So oddly enough, I guess he will go in our winnings pile. A little weird. At the end of our turn, we'll discard a card and then draw up one, finding a crow. 
which will help us for Valeris's turn. No effect. Take a look. I'm trying to find a spell. We know that's not going to happen for us. Our wisdom's a d6, so there's a chance with we'll try to enchant a weapon. So first our charisma check. Getting an eight. And now our wisdom check will be a d6. Getting a three, so we did not make that. End of turn, we use our special ability to recharge a armor or weapon. We'll discard our full plate so we can draw another card. Finding another weapon. And pass turn to Sioni. On each check, the first blessing plate is to bless, may be played freely. See what we have here. Found a werewolf hiding in the auction. So we need a combat of 11 or knowledge. The hour is zero, which it isn't. And if undefeated, suffer the scourge wounded and end your turn. So we're looking for a combat of 11. The werewolf has shown his face in the daylight at auction. So we will use a firebolt to give us our D12 plus two, plus two D6. And that will go in our recovery area. We'll also send our Allosaurus in to take a bite, which will add another D6. So we're looking for an 11 and we're adding two to this roll. <laughs> Getting nearly the pretty good roll there. So we've defeated the werewolf. We'll go ahead and use Soothing Word on our turn. Banish to heal a local character, a card. So we'll shuffle Force Missile into our deck. And then do Recovery by recharging these. And then draw three more cards. Finding a Bodyguard, a Blessing, and some bracers of protection. And pass turn back to Valeros. So we found a drake, and he is always going to roll fire. So he gains the fire trait and resi is resistant to fire. Before acting, each local character must succeed at a dexterity or acrobatic 7 check or suffer 1d4 damage. So Valeros, dexterity is a d8. Getting a two, so he will take 1d4 damage. He'll take three fire damage. See what his armor does here. If you suffer any damage, you may bury it to reduce it to zero, so we'll go ahead and use our armor for that. And then Sioni, her dexterity is a d6 plus one. Did not make it, so she'll take d4 damage. Just one. So she'll use her bracers, suffer any damage, recharge, to reduce it by one. So we've got two fights coming up. For the first one, we're going to need a 14 to, to defeat. And the second one will be a 13. So luckily it is Valeris' turn. We have the Worm Smite in hand. So for combat, we get our D10 plus two. We'll get another D8 plus two. And since this is a Dragon Bane, we'll also get another D10. Sioni will bring in her ally to add another D4. So we'll recharge that. So we're adding four to this and we're looking for 14. And we just got it. So seven, eight, nine, 10, plus your four. So the first combat is defeated. 
We're rolling a one, two, three, and four. For our second combat, we'll use our Worm Smite again, which is gonna give us our D10 plus two, D8 plus two, against a dragon, another D10. And then we'll reload it to add another D4. So they're looking for a 13, adding four. One, two, three, four, nine plus four. Man, we are cutting it close on both of these. So we've defeated the Drake. For end of turn, we'll use our ability to recharge. We'll go ahead and discard the helm and draw two cards, getting our sword back and an elixir of healing. And now I'm all confused because my blessings are a little bit off for the dragon, but I'll get that figured out here soon. Passing turn to Sione. Her blessing is when you heal, you may heal an additional card. We'll go ahead and take a look at what's up for auction. We have a wand of flame, intelligence arcane of nine or wisdom divine of 11. Or another item that might potentially be there. It's a horn of battle clarity. And just for the sake of winning the scenario, we're going to take the easier of the two. Our charisma check first, D12 plus two. Got an eight. So now to check for this, D12 plus two, getting an eight again. So we've won the horn. We'll end our turn drawing two cards. On to Valeros. When you fail a check, you may bury your hand and discards to re-roll. So go ahead and take a look. Starting a brawl. Before acting, each other local character summons and counters this barrier. Undefeated, suffer three combat damage. After all encounters, if any character defeated this barrier, banish it. So we're looking for strength, dexterity, melee of a six. So Sione will be first. So she doesn't have anything in hand to help with either of these. So it's just going to be a straight dexterity, which will be a D6 plus one. Looking to get a six. Ended up with a four. So we'll be suffering three damage, which her bodyguard will jump in front of and take. And then for Valeros, be getting a D10 plus two. Looking for a six. Getting an eight. So we've defeated the barrier and we'll banish this card. Use our ability to recharge. We'll discard our mace and draw up, getting a standard bearer and pass turn to Sioni. If you're at a wild location, you may discard a card to explore. We are at an urban location. Go ahead and flip up. Intelligence Arcane. So D12 plus two is what we're looking for. Or Wisdom Divine. We'll attempt the Lightning Bolt. So first, our Charisma check. Made that with an eight. Now our arcane will be a D12 plus two. We're gonna recharge our crew to add another D6. Because a lightning bolt spell sounds cool. So we're adding two to this roll. Getting a 17 plus two. So a lightning bolt is a possibility. And we will go ahead and end our turn drawing two cards. Getting a blessing and our dinosaur. Passing turn to Valeros. No effect. Taking a peek. Looking for armor. We'll go with the easier of the two. 
Our charisma check is a D6 plus two. So we made that. So we're looking for a constitution fortitude of four, which will be a D8 plus two. Getting a 10. So we've got a chain shirt. In the turn, recharge. We will discard our standard bear. So we can explore again, and again, Story Banes will add a D4. Finding a Magic Chain Shirt. Or Magic Armor. So we'll go with the easier of the two. It's again our Charisma Check, D6 plus two. So we get a five, so we're gonna be adding a D8 to this. So we're gonna need an eight for this check. It's gonna be a D8 plus two. Getting a nine. So we've got some magic leather armor. In the turn, we will draw a card, finding a great ax. So we'll pass turn to Sioni. Finding our henchman proxy. And that is going to be this guy. So we need a combat of 14. Immune to cold. If undefeated, discard the top card of your deck and suffer the scourge dazed. That's that. I'm looking forward to fighting over auctioning. So we are going to use Acid Arrow. Getting our D12 plus 2. And then 2D4s. Also send in our dinosaur for another D6. And since I don't want to lose this, I'm going to go ahead and bless this check for another D12. So we're looking for 14. We'll be adding two to this roll. We've got eight, 12, 13, 14, 23, 25. So he's been beat up. And we'll go ahead and end our turn, doing some recovery, then drawing three cards. Finding a Staff of Minor Healing, Force Missile, and a Quarter Staff. On to Valeros. On your non-attack combat check, add one. Take a look in here, finding a minion. So we've got some diplomacy checks coming up. Move all these dice for our first check, D6 plus two. Actually, never mind, not a boon, so we don't need to do that. So it's just to defeat, D6 plus two. Sioni will go ahead and bless that for us, adding another D6. So we need a seven and we're adding two to this roll. So we got up to six. So if undefeated, suffer the scourge exhausted. Let's see here, that's entangled. On each checker step, you may play no more than one boon. And at the start of your move step, you may end your turn to remove this scourge. Now we're gonna summon and encounter the danger. We'll roll a d6 for that. So that's going to be an Inferno Trap. So before acting, each local character suffers one fire damage. So we'll get rid of the Great Axe for Valeros. And for Sioni, she'll get rid of the Quarterstaff. For a check for Dexterity, we have a d8. We need a 10. So that's not possible without help. And there's no way to help, so we're going to fail this bane also. So if undefeated, each local character suffers 1d4 damage. So d4. And of course we rolled a 4. So 
So Valerius is going to lose all the cards in his hand. And unfortunately, so is Sioni. Is the defect deflect only works on combat damage. The story bane goes away. So then the minion will get shuffled back into our deck here. And we will pass turn to Sioni. So our proxy comes up here. Needing a whole lot. We have a hand size of nothing. So on the good side, we're not going to pass, but it doesn't matter what we get. We have no cards to discard. So this will get shuffled back into our hourglass. It'll go away to come back another day. And Sione will draw six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Having a little bit of backup there, but not much. We've got a bodyguard, soothing word, which will be used here shortly. And pass turn to Valeros, who's exhausted. So for the hour, no effect. I also have no cards in hand, so it's going to be easy to add our move step. We're going to do nothing and just end our turn to not be exhausted anymore. So end of turn, apply our end of turn effects. So we're going to recharge our Worm's Might and then draw four cards. Getting some blessings, a Spyglass and a Fox. So if a fight comes up, he's in trouble. So pass turn to Sioni. On your check to acquire a boon, add a d6. If you succeed, bury the boon. Alrighty. So we'll look. And it's a bane, not a boon. So arcane divine or knowledge stealth. So our arcane's a d12 plus two. Valeros will bless this to add another d12. We're adding two to this roll, needing an eight. So we got a little bit of overkill there. Let's see. We've defeated it, so it's just going to go away. Since she's not feeling well, she's going to whisper some nice words of encouragement to her to heal a card. So randomly... Do that and shuffle that in place and end her turn recharging and then drawing up one card. Finding our crow. Pass to Valeris's turn. When you would discard a boon to bless a strength or constitution check, you may recharge it instead. He's looking at some uh, fancy boots. So for a charisma check for him, D6 plus two. So we've made the check of six. Now I need a dexterity of eight. So there's a chance, just not a good chance. We have a D8 coming up and we need an eight to succeed. Let's see, I think we're still doing pretty good. We can afford to lose this one because I think we are. Got a D6. So this will go into the horde pile. In the turn, we will recharge our axe and draw a card. Finding a Warhammer. Pass turn to Sioni. On your check to close our guard, add a D4. And see what's next. Here's this minion again. So charisma, diplomacy, or knowledge of seven. We are D12 plus two. And we've got nothing to help us with. So we're adding two to this roll, looking for a seven. Got an 11. 
Whoops. If defeated, examine the top card of your location. You may ignore effects that trigger when examined. So we've got an Arcane Divine card coming up. It's kind of good to know. So we'll go ahead and use our crow to discard to explore. In this exploration on your text to acquire, add a D4. So check and see what other item could possibly come up. Yeah, we're just going for the easy. So we've got our D12 plus two, and thanks to the crow, we've got a D4. And we ended up with a five plus two. So we've got a flame staff. We will in turn drawing a card, getting our dinosaur back, and for Valeros. You may avenge by discarding a card. See what we have here, a <laughs> spell. So we either do Wisdom Divine of 12, which we know isn't gonna happen with him, or Wisdom Divine of nine, or Intelligence Arcane of seven. So we have a Wisdom of a D6. I guess first we need to make our Charisma check. D6 plus two. Made a five, so it's gonna be harder to get two. Adding six, so we'll just take the auto fail. Now I could have him attempt to close, but Charisma and Diplomacy is more of a Sioni thing, so he will just end his turn there. For Sioni's turn, we'll check the blessing. On your check against an outsider card, add a D4. So she will attempt to close, getting a D12 plus two. Valeros will bless this, giving another D12. So we need a seven, adding two. So we've closed this location. So for winning, we'll each get a hero point that I will spend at a later date. Party gets all the cards in our winnings pile. So any lightning bolt's gonna be the big one. And another sword would be nice. And the loot spell, Wall of Light. So display while displayed for a combat check. You may use your arcane or divine plus 2d4 or 2d8 if it's against an undead bane. On another local character's combat check, add a d4 and the magic trait. At the end of the turn, banish. If proficient, discard this card. You may succeed at an arcane or divine. So that's a pretty good spell that she'll be taking on. And that will complete our scenario, Piece of the Auction. Hope you enjoyed this video. So please click on the like button below and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.